Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, today I'm going to address a very important uh, topic, the quality of al-haya. Al-haya uh, in Arabic covers different concepts in English. It covers the concept of modesty, bashfulness, shyness, honor, and it is one of the loftiest characteristics a believer could possess. It is a quality and characteristic that prevents the person from committing evil, uh, whether that evil is a deed or a word, some, something said or something physically done. And it is the basis of noble qualities and it is the source for all types of virtue. Some of the scholars said it is an indication of the soundness of one's faith and possessing such a quality leads to a lot of good things and has many virtues. One of it is that uh, as per the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, shyness is something that introduces the person to all goodness. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said as reported by Muslim, he said Al-Haya, shyness, if you want to call it shyness, brings nothing but goodness. It leads to nothing but something good. Another thing is that it is part of faith. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al-Haya is a branch of uh, belief. And this is also reported by Muslim. Possessing this quality for men and women alike, but we're going to focus on women uh, later on. So possessing this quality and this characteristic adorns the person, beautifies his character, his personality, his conduct. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said whenever there is modesty or shyness in a thing, it adorns it. This is reported by a Tirmidhi and classified as authentic by Al-Albani. So the person who possesses this quality of bashfulness he will not have in his words and actions anything that will make him disgraced. So this narration is telling us that whenever modesty is introduced or is present in a word that is being said or an action that is being done, it adorns it and beautifies it. And whenever something is stripped of that quality, it disgraces it. Add to that the fact that Allah Azza wa loves this quality. Um, the Prophet وسلم, said to Ashja Abdul Qais that Allah Azza wa loves two qualities that you have. You possess two qualities which Allah Azza wa Loves. So Ashja uh, uh, asked the Prophet وسلم, what are they? He wants to make sure he recognizes what they are so he confirms them and improves them. He said tolerance and bashfulness and shyness and modesty. Haya. This is reported by Ibn Abi Shayba and classified as authentic by Al-Albani. Al-Haya leads to paradise. The Prophet ﷺ said, this is reported by Ibn Majah, classified as authentic by Al-Bani. He said, uh, Al-Haya is part of faith and faith is in Jannah. Meaning, the one who possesses that will perfect his faith and whoever has this, his abode will be Jannah. It is one of the distinct qualities and characteristics of Islam, meaning that Islam calls to. The Prophet ﷺ said, every religion 
has a distinct manner or characteristic. And that in Islam is Al-Haya. And this is reported by Ibn Majah and classified as sound by Al-Albani. Al-Haya prevents the person from approaching evil, let alone performing or committing evil. He sallallahu alayhi wasallam told us, as reported by Al-Bukhari, uh, one of the admonitions of the previous prophets, which has been conveyed to people is, so the previous prophets conveyed an admonition. He, they stated an, advin, an admonition and that was conveyed to the people, the generations after that. A generation after generation, they pass it down one by one. He said, it is, if you have no shyness, if you have no modesty, then you will do whatever you like. When someone uh, does not have the feeling of shame from others, from people, then he or she will do anything they desire to do. Now, we see that in our time. People hugging and kissing everywhere, especially I'm talking about non-Muslim countries, and in some Muslim countries, of course, that, that also exists. You see a woman walking out of her house, practically naked, well, she has no modesty and neither does her husband or her father who allows her to go out like this. So if you have no modesty, no, no, modesty, no shyness, then you will feel no shame and therefore will do anything that you want. Now, Allah Azza wa Jal highlighted this quality in the story of Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. After Allah azza wa jal had rescued him, uh, after he killed the soul and then he uh, ran out of his, uh, his town, he came across those two ladies, young ladies who were trying to fetch water and he helped them and then uh, they went back to their father, an old man who could not come and fetch the water as they told him and as Allah tells us in Surah Al-Qasas. So, one of them, after she had spoken to her father, went back to Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. I want you to notice the wording used in this verse. Allah Azza wa says, فَجَاءَتْهُ إِحْدَاهُمَا تَمْشِي عَلَى اسْتِحْيَاءٍ قَالَتْ إِنَّ أَبِي يَدْعُوكَ لِيَجْزِيَكَ أَجْرَ مَا سَقَيْتَ لَنَا one of the two, one of the two young ladies came to him walking with shyness. She said, indeed my father invites you so that he can reward you for your help in us getting the water, fetching water for us. Now, فَجَاءَتْهُ Tamshi. She came walking. Now, if she came to him, then it is known that she came walking. So, just the word she came would have been sufficient linguistically, would have been sufficient to indicate that she came walking. But why did Allah Azza wa Jal put the word walking with came to him? Before I answer this, we need to know that in the Arabic language, when there is something that is understood or known and it is added, then there, is, there must be a reason, either uh, a new meaning, something to be highlighted, uh, something to bring the attention of the person reading to, or something uh, astonishing or amazing or strange or a ruling that is going to be connected to that added word. 
In this case, the added word, which is walking here, with coming, was followed by with shyness. So, this is a, a beautiful way of describing the way that young lady was walking. She was so shy, so modest, that her walking itself was with shyness. Now, this reflects how keen she is on maintaining and guarding her shyness and modesty. That even when she walked, she walked with shyness. Now, there is something here in this verse uh, that depends on where we pause, where we stop. Allah Azza wa say, says, فَجَاءَتْهُ إِحْدَاهُمَا تَمْشِي عَلَى اسْتِحْيَاءٍ قَالَتْ There is عَلَى اسْتِحْيَاء was shyness between walking and then said. So if you stop at عَلَى اسْتِحْيَاء with shyness, the verse would read, so one of them came to him walking with shyness. And then we can start from she said. This here describes the way she walked. She walked with shyness. Now, another way of stopping is فَجَاءَتْهُ إِحْدَاهُمَا تَمْشِي One of the two came to him walking and then stop. عَلَى اسْتِحْيَاءٍ قَالَتْ With shyness she said whatever she said. So, the second way would be describing the way she spoke to Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wassalam. So the entire scene is highlighting this beautiful and noble and lofty quality of haya in that young lady. She was engulfed with haya in everything she did and said. Her walking, her talking, and of course her dress, which was not mentioned, but it is understood. Someone who is bashful, who is shy, whilst walking and whilst talking, will not be disclosing and exposing her uh, body to others. This is where I said I would focus on sisters. Sisters need to be careful when they're talking to men. And when they're walking in front of men. This is one of the reasons wearing high heels is something that is not approved of in Islam for ladies. Why? Because it makes the way she walks or she, the way she looks when she walks something that is not modest and, and bashful. Does not reflect that. It makes the body move in a, in a, in a way that can be moving and seductive to, in some cases, to men. So, when, when you talk in the presence of men, be modest. Remember bashfulness and shyness. When you walk, likewise. It's a quality that's, that deserves to reflect upon and ponder upon for all but particularly for sisters. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to adorn us with noble and lofty qualities. Allahumma ameen. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.